Pop Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry from Bella Souls with Michael from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. We're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. Michael, you got some uh, shipping containers today, huh? Yeah, I thought I would uh, bring some some boxes, basically. Boxes and boxes? Some metal boxes. A box of boxes. I like you. it. <laughs> yeah, no, these are the Munitorum Armored Containers. The awesome. new GW uh, 40K terrain pieces that they're offering out. Awesome, so. and there's actually rules to go with Yeah, them. each one has uh, some some rule slips inside that sort of help you out in battle if you if you use them to your advantage. So yeah, we'll check those out and see what kind of, uh, see what kind of terrain they got in there. Right on, man, it sounds good. Let's uh, take a look uh, of these boxes inside the boxes. <laughs> All right, we've got the uh, Minotaurum armored containers here, armored with a U. Armored with a U, they so. are, they're English. That's so. true. And makes sense. The box. Yeah. This is what's actually included in mm -hmm. here. You get three containers, you get nine Promethean barrels, and you actually get six of each of these supplies. Yeah, you get, you get six of the big ones, six of the small yep. ones. And you can see they've, they've painted them up in a couple different uh, yeah. couple different schemes there, which is nice. Of course, the figures on the front are not included. Well, I want to call that out. We did look for you that, actually. We did look for it. You, you don't get minute. three Space Marines don't, with it. Don't sadly. call GW and ask for your three Marines <laughs> with this box. So go ahead and open it up. Yep. All right, here we go. What's so, in the box? What's in the box? So here you have sort of a, a, a Let's assembly. Let's go through that in a second because it's going to have rules. rules. So we'll get that in a minute. Yep. We've got the uh, the sprues. Looks like three will. of the same sprue. So yep. there you go. We can just take a look at uh, one of them if we, if we want. Yeah, we'll just pull this bad boy out of here. Get this out of here. Yeah, we'll put these things up. You can All see right. here, these are front and back. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they look good, man. Yeah, they're actually, you know, for a terrain piece, they're really well detailed, which I really enjoy. They're, uh, you yeah. know, they're, of course they gotta have the skulls. What else? Gotta is have, it's Grimdark. It's not the Grimdark, but, I love but how more skulls. I love how they're like, supposed to be, you know, shipping containers or, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. holding containers, but, you know, they're just skull designs. It seems kind of goofy to me, but it's very funny. Yeah, it's very, very Grimdark. It's a little, a little I love how there. the inside is actually detailed, too. So yeah. if you wanted to model them open. Yeah, I mean, on, on the box, you have you have sort of open hatches you can, yeah. you can put on some of them. So, you know, you can model them in a couple of different ways, it looks like. Yeah. And move your minis inside and take advantage of the rules. Right. And I the, assume. The crazy different, uh, the barrels here. This is actually, I think, the second uh, generation of, of barrels. They used to have mm -hmm. other uh, oil barrels, so these are new, which is always cool. I, I actually think this is a really cool kit, not just for the crates, uh, just as terrain bits. Yeah, it's a nice thing to add, just sort of to any yeah any sort of other piece of terrain. Maybe exactly. If exactly. you have like a like an administrator building or something like that, right, right. Them too. And plus, they're good line of sight. They're they're about twice the size of a space marine, roughly. Yeah. Once you get them all built up, so um, good line of sight blocking mm -hmm. definitely will help you hide a dreadnought or something like that. Mm -hmm. So very cool stuff. Um, looks like it comes with. I can't tell it on on some. It looks like it comes with weapons. Maybe yeah, storm bolters are storm on bolters top. on on a couple things here. They have a couple um, of pinnel mounted uh, storm bolter. Oh, yeah, it's kind it's, of security crates, too. right? Yeah, it does look like it on the box here. Noticing it, right? right yeah, there you can see a couple there. So that's interesting. You can stack them like that, like double stack them, or mm -hmm. you could actually just have them each separated with uh, with the the storm bolters. And it looks Very like they give you uh, a, at least. One set. Those are the they kind of snap together. Yeah. With it, with a looks like looks like maybe maybe a set of two per sprue. Right, right. Uh, so you can you can put one on one on some of your containers or attach yeah. them all together. You know, all sorts of different options. Really cool stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rules real quick. So we do have the little rules booklet here. Of course, comes with uh, the three containers and mm -hmm. basically shows you what all you have when you're done. Notice there's no marine. No, no, no marines here. here tragically. <laughs> um, you can't get your your three snap fit marines. Dang with it. This. But I mean, they're pretty simple assembly instructions because yeah. they're just boxes. Shockingly so, enough, yeah, easily enough, but <laughs> still managed to make it into six steps, right, or more possibly. And but then you, have the you get into rules. rules. So I'll talk about these a little you bit. You may they're, take it from here. They're pretty interesting stuff. Uh, you can just use them as terrain bits. I would probably just use them as terrain bits if I if I yeah. really was going to do it. But you can actually pay the forty points to take them as part of a fortification. So. Um, what's interesting about this, I'll get to the, what I think is the most interesting is actually the barrels. Yeah. Because they, they explode. Of course they do. <laughs> do they explode like, like a frag grenade and just shoot skulls out? It can, it can vary. Uh, well, so back up. The, the explosion can vary, but the, uh, the armored crate, the, sorry, the ammo crates can mm -hmm. vary is what I was getting to. Yeah. They have different things different, that you can find. Yeah, you can pull different things out of it, I presume. Right, right. So, like, number three is my favorite. It's 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 a crate full of up, uplifting primers for yeah. the Imperial Guardsmen. Okay. So, if you don't know the background of those, 
The uplifting primer is a booklet that all guardsmen have to carry on them at yeah. all time. And if they don't have them, we actually have one here. <laughs> if they don't have one, they can just be executed on the spot. So it's a crate full of them just, just in case. Just those. Just in case uh, the guardsmen have lost theirs, which would mean you die. You go <laughs> grab a fresh one, you're the, good. If the commissar walks up to you and says, where's your, where's your primer? primer? Uh, uh, you're dead. Right on the here. spot. So, and it's got a bunch of silly, like, uh, uh, Xeno specific things that like, you know. Here's the here's the Eldar. They're pointy-eared liars. Kill them here, you know. And then these are the stupid Tyranid creatures. They're not even real. But if you see what you <laughs> in the head, it's, nice. it's really great. Typical typical Imperium. <laughs> so the armor contains themselves. Pretty tough cookies. Tough to seven with six wounds and a three-up save. An extra shield generator seems like it'd be pretty <laughs> yeah, useful too. Seriously, with the with the Can't armor crates, why not? exactly. Um, so. The, the crates themselves, you can actually move up to them and, and take advantage of the storm bolters and shoot those too. So it's almost like a, like another any other sort of fortification on like exactly. a defense line. Exactly. Or, you know, on a... Well, For 40 points... Maybe not a rail gun, but like the Tidewall yeah. gun rig kind of thing. Exactly. Something like that maybe. Um, earlier I was mentioning that the barrels are actually my favorite. Not yeah. just because they explode. Uh, and they that's a do, big reason. That's a big reason. I like when things blow up. But um, they also turn your flamers into torque. Oh, okay. Yeah, they give your flamers torrent, which sounds useful. It's pretty useful. There, there's some debate on how that all works in the turn sequence. Like, if I have a heavy flamer and I walk up to it, mm -hmm. like it's heavy, does it count? Well, I'm not gonna get into that right now, but it's in the rules. You guys can read it and debate it yourself because there they are. So um, that's part of the fun. So it does. Really cool I mean, stuff. it does sound like it's a not just a piece just to buy for its own sake, but something you can actually yeah. use, specifically if you're, you know, if you are playing guard, you know, a guard gun line, something like that. Oh yeah, if you wanted to have them there, again, the great line of sight blocking terrain, they look good, they fit in the theme. Um, I also think that they would make awesome objective markers. Yeah, that's another thing, is like, I know a lot of people use, like to use you know, just whatever they have around as yeah. objective markers. I know, or like poker chips or something like that. Yeah, you know, like, spice when it I, up a little bit. When like, I, like, to a base. When I played uh, with with Tau, I always like to use drones. Sure, like sure. A lost drone, but this seems like it would be something pretty good too. A, a barrel full of. Yeah, you, you get know, if you get like useful. a forty millimeter base or something like that, and some spares you might have laying mm -hmm. around or something like that. Glue one of these armored crates, uh, the uh, the ammo crates, to yeah. that, and have it be an, an actual objective marker. That's pretty. Even good if idea. you don't use them. For the rules, they make awesome train kits. Yeah, it's just a nice little addition to the table, which is really good. Um, and I think honestly, 40k kind of needs it right now. Yeah, they've been they've been focusing a lot on Sigmar and their terrain and their armies and stuff. But having a little something to throw to the 40k players is nice. Totally. Mm -hmm. One of the one of the big things I, I really do like about this kits, and I've said this before in, in other reviews, is this kind of shows what the everyman kind of deals with in the grim dark. Mm -hmm. Like if you were just a dude that worked at the yep. factory. You know these containers. This is what you would. This is what you would see. This is what you live by every day. You this would is the stuff like, you would make for eighteen hours. A day. Right. That's that's what you see. This is what the every man in the grim dark sees on a on a imperial world. You know. Yeah. It's like oh that's cool. We always see the blown up buildings and like the fancy spires and yeah, all the, this other the stuff. ultimate space marine troops. Right. Like, your regular forts. dude is going to be making these. Exactly. Before you were a guardsman, house. boom, you were working on that. Yeah. And so kind of an interesting background nod. I really like it. So let's hop out for a really quick recap. Well, that was the Munitorum Armored Container. Armored? Armored. Armored. That's how to you. <laughs> That's pretty cool new stuff. Yeah. Uh, let's run some numbers real quick. Obviously from Games Workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael, what's this going to run you? It's going to be 50 bucks for the box. They okay. are brand new. Yep. Um, and, you know, you do get, like we said, you get the three armored containers. <laughs> yes. Uh, the, the big shipping, basically, containers. And then you get... Uh, Twelve different supply crates, yep. two of you know, of two one sizes, one large, one small, yeah. and then nine barrels. And yeah. you know, like we like we showed, there, there's a lot of different stuff you can do with them. I think the the options for again using this just as terrain bits, mm -hmm. uh, you can also use these to upgrade vehicles and stuff like that. Putting the the barrels or, or armor yep. crate, or sorry, the supply crates on vehicles on the back of a tank. Or yeah, something. yeah. The the modeling options are totally. There. I think it'd be fun to put on like a like the base of an imperial knight. Oh yeah, yeah. Stepping yeah. over it maybe or on Ooh. top of it or maybe wielding a container. Yeah. <laughs> Pacific Rim style. Exactly, exactly. Just carrying it around. But I mean, I was looking at these containers. And you could you could totally do like a train car. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like you said, they could be objective markers too. So a lot of different options. So. Lots of cool options. Mm -hmm. But in stores right now, yeah. fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. GW. Yep. And uh, makes an awesome train. Yeah. So this has been another Tabletop Spotlight. I'm Adam Harry from Bell Assholes. I'm Michael from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching. <laughs>